Now let's assume you approached 30 students and asked them for their score in a mathematics paper. And this is the data you get. The first student says 17, the next one says 16 and so on. Now you want to analyze this data. So you want to know the highest mark scored in the subject. Think about how you would approach it. The first thing you would do is browse through the first row. You see that 20 is the highest. Then you browse through the second row and see that 21 is the highest. So 21 is the highest until now. Then you scan the third row and do not find a number higher than 21. So 21 is the highest mark scored by a student in the subject. What about the lowest mark scored? You would follow the same procedure of scanning each row and ultimately find out that it's 11. There is no number lower than 11 in this set. This data that we directly get from people and which is not organized is called raw data. What can we do to make life simpler? Yes, we can classify the data. This is one way to classify it. We have arranged the data from the least number to the highest one. You can see that it's 11, 13, 14 and so on up to 21. We have arranged the data in ascending order, lowest to highest. Now look how simple it gets. What is the highest score? The highest score is the last number in the data, 21. What about the least mark scored? The least mark scored will be the first number you can see in the list, which is 11. There is another concept called the range of data. It is defined as the difference between the highest and the lowest number. In our example, it will be 21 minus 11, which equals 10. Answering all these questions gets really easy if we organize the data well.